cookies. So today we're going to make some Elvis cookies. Yeah. So get your cake pans out. Well, not cake yeah. pans. We're going to be using cookie sheets. Get your cookie sheets, your bowls with all the ingredients in it, and let's cook. Okay, guys. So we're making Elvis cookies today. Let me turn you a little bit over here so you can see what the heck I'm doing. So in this bowl, I already got stuff in a pot so it's not, it doesn't take 15 minutes here. So in here, I've got a cup of butter. I got butter, brown sugar, white sugar, peanut butter, and I'm going to put my three mashed bananas in this mixture here. I've already got my baking powder in here and I am going to sift two and a half cups of flour in here and then I'm going to mix it all together. So fun fact about Mr. Elvis Presley that his favorite, um, one of his favorite foods was grilled peanut butter and banana, like a grilled cheese. So I've never had it. It looks tasty but I've never had it. So now I'm going to mix all this together. I'm gonna to mix this. There's brown sugar in here also. Did I say that already? I'll leave the, the ingredients in my description box. So in case somebody would, ooh, would like to try it. This is the first time I'm making this. I got this recipe from a friend. So I thought, well, today's the day. I'm going to, to cook this and see how they taste. I need a little bit more of a bigger mixer than this fork because it's not cutting it. I'd use my mixer, but uh, I don't need that many dishes, I'm telling you. So I'm mix. I'm going to mix this up, and I'm going to add my bananas to this mixture. My bananas are in. So I'm going to mix this, and then I'll come back. Okay, I got this mixed. I'm going to sift this a little bit as I put it in this dish. They say to sift it. I thought I had a sifter, but I do not. But this works just as good. Okay. Now... Clean as I go. I am going to put a little bit at a time in here. And get it mixed. Whew. This looks really good. So I'm hoping it tastes really good. I've never had these before, so. I'm hoping. A little bit more. And I set my oven, it's already preheated to 350 degrees. So these don't take long to cook. They take approximately 10 minutes from what I have on my direction sheet. So I'm thinking these are going to be nice and soft and chewy. Not a hard cookie, so. And the last little bit of flour. So I'll get this mixed up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this all mixed. Now I'm going to drop tablespoons of this onto this pan. I'm not too sure how big these are gonna get. <laughs> so 
so I think I'll just do three side by side. I've got another uh, cookie sheet here just in case because I think I'm going to need it. But I don't want to make itty bitty cookies. It's nice to have a normal size cookie for a change instead of something so small with a nice glass of milk or coffee or tea or whatever, whatever you may drink. And these only cook for 10 minutes. I've got my timer here. So we'll put these in the oven. One more scoop. Yeah, this is going to make quite a bit. So I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 on my sheet here right now. So I'm going to put these in the oven, preheated to 350, get my timer on for 10 minutes. It's on and I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, so I took them out after 11 minutes, not 10. 10 wasn't enough for me. They were way too soft. So I took them out after 11 minutes. I made some a little smaller. I put some back in the oven because they were only cooked for 10 minutes and 10 is just not enough at all. But these are them. So they look like on the bottom, nice and golden brown. So I'm going to try it and see. They're not bad. They're not overly sweet with the sugar and the brown sugar in them. They're good. I wouldn't drop them in tablespoons myself. I'd do a teaspoon. Something smaller. Not big. Like I make um, my peanut butter uh, cookies. Like that. They come out very big. But they come out flat. They're soft, they're not hard, but the peanut butter and these ones are a totally different, totally different being. So I wouldn't drop these in tablespoons. I would drop these in teaspoons, even smaller if you want. Because they do flatten out on their own. Not flat, flat, but they go down. So I would do it in teaspoons, not so much a, a tablespoon, because I think a tablespoon is too much. They're not going to be cooked in the middle at all. So I would go smaller. So yeah, make you some Elvis cookies. They're really, really good. They're not overly sweet. And I'll leave the uh, recipe in my description below. So you guys have a super, super Sunday. Be blessed. I love you guys. See you soon.